Welcome to another Tips and Tricks World of Tank Splits with Stud Muffin 1986. These videos are a compilation of just different things I've learned throughout the game to help me increase my win rate and hoping it could also help others as well. One thing that helps is platoon with others that have a higher win rate than you. Also, notice where you fall in the totem pole. This will help you know where to either position yourself or how aggressive you can be. Even though I like being more of the aggressive player, I never like going solo. So here you'll notice that I'm trying to get some teammates to come with me to the base. If you look at the top bar, you'll notice the type of tanks you're playing up against. This can help you know where enemies might position themselves in the battlefield. With this map in particular, I know if you don't go for the base, you're going to have a really hard time later on in the game if the enemy caps. Also, carry all the different shells that you can with you just in case you don't have a clear shot. Some shells are just better for different situations. Like if they're all red, try using a high explosive shell. Sometimes it's better to get some damage than no damage. You'll notice here that I try using the landscape to protect myself as much as possible. Just trying to peek barely over, just get some sweet shots off some enemy tanks, and just roll back behind it while I reload. This really helps protect you. But at the same time, don't tunnel vision. Try paying attention to where all the other enemies are as well. This will help with positioning yourself and lining yourself up for your next shots on your enemies. I notice people doing this all the time, but being a light armored tank destroyer on the front lines is not typically the smartest thing you want to do. There's a reason why those tanks don't have much armor to them is because they're meant to be in the background or more of a supporting cannon. So here I'm using a high explosive shell just because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get the shot with a normal shell. Another thing I notice is sometimes people will try camping or sniping with a heavy tank. This completely defeats the purpose of a heavy tank. They're supposed to be up on the front lines and the trenches, that's why they typically have the most armor and the most life. Even though I could have moved up to the right and helped my friends out with that KV-4, I knew there was another two tanks I hadn't seen yet. Wasn't sure if they were flanking or coming up from behind, but wanted to protect my friends from getting shot over there in case they appeared behind us. This also goes along with not tunnel visioning and being aware of your surroundings. And finally, we detect the last two and then finish taking them out. At this moment, don't try to camp or snipe or stay in the background and play it safe. You've got more players than they do. Go ahead and swarm them and take them out. Notice how I'm angling my tank as the enemy starts pointing his cannon at me. I face towards him because I know it's the strongest side of the armor with this tank. I would say probably one of the reasons why the enemy lost was because these mediums took too long to get in the game. Didn't even start fighting until here at the very end, whereas they could have come up a lot sooner and given me a lot more trouble. Thank you for watching. I hope you're able to learn a couple things while watching this video. Watch for more World of Tanks Blitz tips and tricks by Stud Muffin 1986 on my channel. And feel free to add any comments you would like. I know I'm not the best out there and I definitely have a lot to learn as well.